ask your question, please? Absolutely. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I, I listened to a few of your videos on YouTube, and I remember you specifying on how some manifesting generators, you know, unfortunately take you know, some time to um, wait to respond. And you were like, yikes. I'm one of those people that have not had an opportunity in many years. And I used to have a business um for a few years and then right before the pandemic um I kind of stopped everything to rebuild and I haven't received an opportunity and it's weird because I usually would and so I guess I was just curious to know if in my chart does it state that you know that's just my path and I just have to wait and you know patiently wait as um to respond to something as a manifesting generator is kind of a little so, frustrating and <laughs> yeah so let's unpack this a little bit Doreen because okay. um it, it, responding it's not like waiting for an invitation okay mm -hmm. it's not at all the same as waiting for an invitation and I even would say that uh you know it sounds like you've uh, um just looking for you if I can find you here Maybe you have your camera off. Oh, there you are. Okay. Um, <laughs> thanks for waiting. Absolutely. Um, yeah. There, are, you have things to respond to every day, all the time, constantly to respond to. It's not a bit that you don't have things to respond to. It's that you're not used to the activity of response. Probably. So it sounded to me like what you were saying specifically, Doreen, and help me if I'm getting this right, is, is that you're looking for, you're desiring some kind of an opportunity for a job or a business or something. Can you just give me a, what are you, what are you looking for? Yes. Well, I do understand that I respond to my daily life. I respond to my canine daughter who's a handful and you know I'm not really big on social media anymore and things like that so I don't I'll check my emails but that's probably the extent but yes I I have been used to receiving work opportunities um someone requesting I, I started in two, 1999 I started as a personal trainer and I was also teaching dance and okay. more of the creative arts so I was always receiving some kind of opportunity to do something even if it was that I saw you know someone looking for you know if I needed to respond to a job or but mm -hmm. most of the time I would have people calling me for things or I would have an email that would come pop up you know synchronistically that just kind of matched you know what I was looking for at that time and um it's just you know I just haven't received anything like that other than just my mundane everyday tasks of responding to my life I so I just not sure if maybe it's because you know just later on in life you know I'm 51 years young and you know I'm still going strong and doing you know what I'm doing with my career in terms of teaching dance and things like that but I do it more on a volunteer basis um so so let yeah. me ask you so what is it you're wanting to do you know if I have to be very very honest um because I've been having so many shifts in my life I came to a point that even before the pandemic that I didn't want to do anything anymore I didn't want to hustle and do the things that I I was always you know uh working hard to get to that point of people reaching out to me I had to work for it um but, but at the same time realizing that I was kind of responding to my sacral but I still felt like I needed to hustle because that's just been my life. You know, I'm a, I'm a baby of, of, of 12 siblings, all of my siblings, I always saw them hustling. And, and so that's just the way I grew up in the New York city in the Bronx, you hustle. Right. So when I really started to understand more about my human design and just astrology and things like that, I realized, oh, wait, I'm supposed to wait for the world to kind of be pulled into me from what yeah, I Yeah. But wait, wait, no, don't go, don't go down that path. Oh, okay. No, don't go down that path. Don't go down the I'm supposed to wait path because your life was working. So why change it? Mm -hmm. Now, 
if you feel like you're kind of don't want to do anything, that's different. Mm -hmm. And so you're not receiving invitations because you didn't want to do anything. Well, at the time, uh -huh. I didn't want to do anything. And now you want to change it. it. Now you well, want to change it again. I feel like I'm here to be of service in some way. And if I'm on the planet, and if I'm still here and I'm still alive and kicking, I'm here to, to do something bigger than myself. That's how I feel. Um, I agree. Um, I agree. But it, and it sounded like you needed a period of rest. Yes. And did you enjoy hustling? What you were calling hustling, whatever that was for you? Did you enjoy that? Well, what hustling would be for anybody that you got to, you know, go out there and make. I, I don't, I don't agree with that. Hustle can mean totally different things to people. Different what would people. that mean for you then? I if, don't hustle. What, 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 I don't, I don't hustling. call anything I do hustling. So that's why I'm asking you what that's it is I, for the, you. The basic definition of hustle is you have to go out there and put yourself out there and get and seek and seek the work instead of just kind of it. So I think that is lovingly in a flow in your path, you know, so I, I do. I do. So I, I, I think, what, yeah, I understand. I think what you want to do is change how you're thinking about how things work, because I put out YouTube videos twice a week. Now, do you consider that hustling? Well, no, because you're in your flow. That's different. okay. Well, That's so you could do that. You, you so know. you could do that. You could do something your equivalent of that. So whenever, and this is going to relate back to Jess also, who is asking about getting her business out in the world, right? Is what you want to do is you want to get so involved in what it is that you're offering that it doesn't feel like a hustle. It feels like this is what you're here to do. You're here to provide this service. You're here to provide this wisdom. You're here to provide this mentoring. You're here to, to help people be their best selves. You know, you're here for them to be healthy and strong and resilient and able to deal with our challenging world, right? You got to get like excited about that. You got to build some enthusiasm for being that person who's providing that because that is magnetic. Mm -hmm. And that will bring things to you. But if you're, I mean, kind of the vibe I'm getting right now, and you can tell me if this is true or not, is yeah. you're kind of like, I don't want to do it the old way. I don't want to do it the old way. I don't do it the old way. But you haven't it. found the new way. Yes, yet. I haven't. That's why I'm asking what and that's, and that's okay. So this is what I'm sharing is you want to just get whatever it is that you're offering. You want to get, you, you want what you're offering to be so aligned that you don't feel like there's this, oh, this is my job that I do. It's like, this is what makes me feel on purpose. This is why I'm here, right? And um, there's a video I have, I think it actually is the one about generator stop stop waiting, start influencing. If you haven't seen that one, watch that one. And it's good for manifesting generators too. And it's all about using the generative questions and the, the human design uh, way of uh, doing working with law of attraction. So I would check out that one because oh, that's the thing is any of us, regardless of type, all want to become really magnetic. Only manifestors, eight to 9% of the population are here to initiate. The rest of us are here to operate in some other way. But once, and just remember everybody, once you enter into something based on your strategy, you can initiate once you're in it, but you want to enter in through response. Mm -hmm. So I would just say, Dina, how can you show up in the world doing what you love in a way that other people can see you so that you can be found? And I'm not expecting you to answer that right now, but that's the thing, the inquiry I would encourage you to mm -hmm. lean into because that's how people will find you. But you got to do it because it feels good to you. Like I do my YouTube videos because I like doing them. Yeah. You know, absolutely. Right. I wouldn't do them if I didn't like doing them. So you got to find the thing that you're like, I like doing this. I don't know what that is for you. Maybe it's, you know, video of you teaching dance, you know, maybe it's, you, you know, I don't know, you in the gym showing somebody how to, you know, use a piece of equipment in some way that's unusual. Like there's a gazillion things that you could do mm -hmm. that you could just shoot video of it or write about it or post about it or, you know, I mean, but becoming visible is important because if people don't see you doing what you're doing, it's hard for them to find you unless other people send them to you. But do that law of attraction piece with the generative questions. 
um, because that will help. Okay, great. Okay. Helpful. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay.